Title, Tour de Pandemonium, Stage 14 Reboots After Mega Mayhem. TL, DR, Tears, Slips, and Medical Slips are on the menu at the Tour de France Stage 14. Anali Crash put a 25-minute pause to the action and sent a ripple of shock across the riders and spectators alike. Will the carnage carry on, or can the cyclists find some zen in this chaotic race? Saturday's stage of the Tour de France transformed into a modern rendition of the survival of the fittest. Forget any visions of a leisurely bike ride through France's picturesque landscapes. Stage 14 was a turbulent, adrenaline-pumping scene more akin to an action movie than a sporting event. In a spectacle of slippage and calamity, a colossal crash halted the stage for a solid 25 minutes. We're talking a pause long enough for you to make a sandwich, eat it, and start questioning whether Tour de France had morphed into Tour de Fiasco. The unfortunate epicenter of this chaos. A treacherous downhill slope, which, with 146 kilometers left in the stage, proved too much for some. Antonio Pedrero of Team Movistar found himself needing more than just a band-aid having to bow out from the race and leave the battleground on a stretcher. But wait. There's more. Louis Meinke, South Africa's hopeful, was sitting pretty at 13th in the general classification before pulling out of the race, while Colombian Esteban Chavez and Dutchman Ramon Sinkeldam also packed up their dreams midway. Talk about a plot twist. Mercifully, the overall leaders emerged unscathed, sort of like those characters in disaster movies who managed to escape catastrophe unharmed. Is this down to luck, skill, or some cycling gods watching over them? Now let's get a visual of the Col de Saxel descent, where France's very own Romain Badet, a runner-up from the 2016 Tour de France, crashed at a nerve-wracking 60 km per hour. After a heart-to-heart with the doctors, Badet had to wipe away tears, and perhaps some dirt, as he withdrew from the race. A moment of silence for our fallen comrade, please. Badet wasn't alone in his ordeal. James Shaw, a teammate from F Easy Post also had an unplanned meeting with the ground and was stretched off the course. What a tumultuous ride, right? We're left wondering, is the Tour de France turning into a war zone? Is it the unruly weather, the course, or the pressure that's causing such havoc? Or maybe it's a secret ploy to make an already exciting race more dramatic, a touch of Mad Max, anyone? So, what's your take? Does the thrill of the Tour de France remain in the cyclone of chaos, or should the event consider ways to decrease the danger and protect our fearless riders? After all, isn't it supposed to be about stamina, skill, and speed, rather than survival? Disclaimer, this article is based on factual events and does not provide any form of advice or recommendations. Turned Up News is not responsible for any actions or decisions taken by its readers based on the content of this article. Please exercise judgment and care when interpreting this information.